Good morning, my darlings. A very quick start to the vlog today. Um, I have just arrived to Bamford. It is my usual routine. I'm heading in for Reformer Pilates, which I feel like I really need this morning. I feel quite tired, which you might be able to see from my puffy face. I've been up since four o'clock this morning working on the Cyber Week Black Friday hub on the blog preview on the screen here um, so I really hope that you are finding it useful every single morning I'm just like scouring the world wide web for um, the best discount codes and I think I think we've got some good ones on there so yeah really really hope you're finding it useful how adorable by the way oh I need to add this I need to add this to the post how adorable is this knit it is from Miss 60 I've got some amazing things to show you from them a little bit later. A big old denim try-on. And also this morning, Robin is coming to meet me here after Pilates and we are going to have 90 minutes of pampering. So I can't wait, cannot wait. It's going to be a great start to the day. So without further ado, it's time for me to get on that reformer. <laughs> Always find your way to higher ground May you always keep your head held up high Pretty little thing Hello my darlings, back home again Why do I always do this? I always put lipstick on as soon as I'm about to start talking to you I think it's because I look in the viewfinder and I'm like, oh You need a bit of lipstick So I had a fabulous hair wash at Bamford after the treatments. Oh my goodness, they are just so incredible. I think Robin was very, very pleased with hers as well, so I can definitely recommend the maternity treatments as well. So I had the 90 minute signature treatment again, like I had upon getting back from Singapore. And because obviously I wanted to organize a 90 minute treatment for Robin as well, she had an hour pregnancy body massage and then she also had 30 minute facial but all you know at the same within the same treatment so that was just heavenly um oh i feel so festive today it's kind of chilly but um yes so we are of course in the midst in the midst of cyber week so i do feel that it would be right to do a big old try on for you as well as okay let me tell you my quest my quest is to find the perfect pair of jeans and um, I've been jeanless in my life for quite some time, years, <laughs> years in fact. So I've got a really big order from Miss 60 because I feel like they are such a good brand for jeans um, that I'm going to share with you and I also have, you might be able to see a little sneak peek corner of it, some new fitness bits from Adenola as well. So Adenola Oh, you guys are watching this on Thursday, so their Black Friday sale starts tomorrow. They have let me in on a sneak peek that their sale will start tomorrow. But I'll show you the bits now, because then you can add them to your basket, and you can just hit go when the sale launches tomorrow. I don't believe I have a specific discount code. It's going to be site-wide discounts all throughout the website, but you can use Josie Free Ship. <laughs> um, and that will get you free shipping. I believe there's going to be at least 300 discounted lines on the website, and the sale only runs in until Monday, so Monday the 28th, so you've got to be fairly snappy about it. So that's why I'm going to quickly whiz through a few of my favourites with you now, and um, you can add them to your baskets. So let's just spin around a tiny bit. So I mostly wanted to stock up on accessories. What I think I'll do lighting wise, because honestly it's getting dark at like 3pm these days, is I'll quickly show you everything um, talking through the bits here, and um, I'll insert overlays that I might even film tomorrow morning of trying the bits on, because otherwise It'll be pitch black by the time I finish showing you the bits. So, first of all, I've actually already worn this one. A really lovely, very easy to throw on white um, knit. It's got a really nice open neckline, which gives it quite an elegant but yet relaxed feel. And the cream colour means that it goes with all of my different leggings, my different bottoms, of which I feel that I have just got such a great got such a great selection of the Adenola colours now. The colour that I picked up in this order that I actually not had before is their navy. These are their ultimate leggings and I actually have started to get size small instead of size extra small and it just gives me a little bit more room on my tummy. So again, they're super duper high-waisted. 
I always think that these are the most flattering. The waistline, the bum, the position that they finish on my tummy, I feel like is the most flattering of all of my leggings. And then I have got the matching, really simple spaghetti style top. This one is the most simple. It's called their tank bra. Um, I do get the tank bras in a size extra small. Did I mention this is the only sale of the year for Adenola? So definitely worth stocking up. And then this is the cross back bra. This one is a little bit more decorative. I love to wear this style of bra when I do my yoga, when I do Pilates. And it's just, yeah, it's just a little bit more decorative, but equally as supportive. And you do have the padded section inside the bust here. So it's very, very flattering and um, great on the figure. One of my all time favorite colorways from Adenola is their Mocha shade. It's kind of somewhere between an earthy green and a brown. I would almost call it like a mushroomy kind of shade. I find it incredibly flattering. I feel very on brand <laughs> with Dalesford whenever I do my workouts there. So I've got another pair of the super duper high-waisted leggings here. And once again, I've gone for actually a different style of the top. This is the double strap bra. So you can see here it does have the double kind of spaghetti straps. To be honest, I do find them all as supportive as each other, so it really just depends on um, your preference with the styling and what they look like. And I love the thick waistbands um, that go underneath them. And then I do love the simple tank bra, so I picked up one of those as well in the mocha shade. Now this is a little bit of a throwback, but I thought this would be really fun to wear as a layering piece, getting myself to and from my Pilates, as well as maybe um, wearing around the house, traveling. It reminds me of the, is it Anin Bing? That a lot of the cool girls have that hoodie, but I think this is even cozy looking. So it is just a super big Adenola Sport branding on there. Not really a hoodie kind of person, to be totally honest, but this one just looked so soft and cozy. And now that it's getting so blooming cold, I just want to be wearing thick, super cozy layers when I get to my gym classes, doing my warm up. Um, and also I'm not gonna lie, I will probably spend the rest of the day in this after my workouts as well. Now I'm not 100% sure if this might be a new color, but this is called Dark Olive. And I'm sure you can imagine that I just absolutely snapped this up as soon as I saw it. I love wearing green leggings. I think it's a, it's a color that might surprise you with how flattering it is. And if like me, you're just obsessed <laughs> with green tones in your wardrobe, then why not add it to your workout wardrobe? I have also added the crossback bra in the dark olive to my collection. I have to say, compared to other workout bras that I've tried in the past as well, these are not super hard to get on and off, even though I have got my normal size, which is an extra small, instead of sizing up. And I always, always, always add a few little accessories into my Adenola order. They have started to do a different style of sock. I do love the socks that have got the Adenola branding at the top, but these are, these are more of a kind of cotton finish sock. And I just feel that these will be perfect for wearing with my walking boots, wearing in my wellies. Um, and then this, to me, just looks like the world's most comfortable bra. Not necessarily for like a workout, but maybe for afterwards, for relaxing. Just to be honest, I will wear this every single day. This is their triangle bra and matching high waist brief. Is that too much information? I don't know, but I love that Adenola are doing super comfortable underwear as well. Speaking of cozy things to wear at home, these are called their rib knit shorts in marshmallow white. Oh my goodness. I feel like, again, these with a big chunky knit. It's a very kind of cool girl Instagram aesthetic vibe, which is not usually something that I would necessarily go for, but I appreciate a comfortable piece when I see it. So I thought this is a good opportunity for me to try out that trend. I love that Adenola are doing more kind of loungewear. I'm not gonna lie, I wore their gym pieces as loungewear anyway, so they're just making the most of that. This is a really nice, quite sporty, um, just kind of relaxing top. You could wear this over the top of your sportswear, again, for your warm-ups, for getting to and from the gym, but then also for lounging around at home, and then the matching 
grey. I love this, it's like classic. Can you see the detail? It's like a textured grey. Elastic waistband pair of shorts. So perfect for those more relaxed workouts, um, warm-ups, and also wearing from home. And then going back to greens, their classic olive green is probably my most worn colour in my Adenola collection. So these are probably my favourite pair of leggings that I reach for the most. Um, and then styled with the crossback bra again in olive green and also the tank bra in olive green just with the really simple spaghetti straps that's probably my most worn color and then something new that I also added to this particular order is a new fleece and this really surprised me because this to me is kind of like a gardening fleece and I just absolutely love that it's becoming so on trend that kind of aesthetic that Adenola are even making what I would call a gardening fleece I'm sure a lot of people would probably wear this again for doing their warm-ups warm -ups, um, getting themselves to and from the gym but it's this deep green fleece you've got a little um, pocket detail what do they call it recycled polyester fleece in green really thick chunky knit Great for dog walks, <laughs> great for those relaxed weekends at home. So if you are looking for a stylish but also very practical fleece, then I'm so pleased to see that Adenola have done one this season. So they really have just got the most amazing selection of bits and bobs not only for your workouts but also for wearing at home which i'm so so happy to see and if you are a tote bag lover their tote bags are absolutely ginormous so great bags for um taking all of your stuff to and from the gym or using it as a giant shopper bag so also very very handy so quite an epic haul from adenola i have to say adenola is one of those brands that you guys ask me about the most when it comes to discount codes so this is their only sale of the year which is absolutely epic um josie free ship will get you free shipping and it's only on from tomorrow until monday so make the most of it i will leave all of those bits linked down below and now i am going to do a more of a chatty try on with the miss 60 pieces because i feel like um we're gonna need to discuss the jeans a little bit more it's very new to me I need you to hold my hand and um, I will not decide to keep or return any of these bits until this video has gone live we're doing quite a quick quite a quick video turnaround at the moment so I love your feedback I'd love your styling tips I have obviously decided I'm definitely keeping this jumper it is just such a perfect classic festive knit even now I can see it just shimmering in the light um, so yeah I thought I would I thought I would show you the jeans um, I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> I don't know why I'm a bit nervous, but let's give them a try. Okay, my darlings. Well, we now have the lovely soundtrack of the church bells in the background, um, but here we are. So I think this might be my first ever jeans, denim, proper try on and I'm, and I'm very keen to get your thoughts and your opinions and um, your advice as well because as you may know I do not normally wear denim I think I I think I have one pair of denim jeans in my wardrobe but lately I have been looking at quite a lot of autumn winter style inspiration um, and like saving things down and also just looking at other people <laughs> um, you know when I'm out and about in the exploring exploring the Cotswolds and I see people styling denim very very nicely so I want in on the action so that was my main reason for the Miss 60 order Miss 60 being um, it's an Italian fashion brand but they are really well known for their denim and then I also added in some really fun bits as well like knit I've even got some outerwear pieces that I'll share with you in a second they have got their Black Friday sale on right now I believe it's up to 40% off but they did very kindly say that you can use Josie 15 as an extra 15% discount and that is valid today. You're watching this I think on the... Hang on, are you watching this on the 24th November? If you are, it's my birthday. <laughs> November the 24th is my birthday. I will probably be out for a lovely birthday meal when you're watching this. So yes, very exciting. But yeah, Josie 15 is valid today and tomorrow the 25th. So get your denim and your Miss 60 Black Friday um, orders in over the next couple of days. So we're starting off with this pair here. I was instantly drawn to this pair. They, oops, sorry, a bit of tummy flash there. Um, this is one of the classic styles from Miss 60. As you know, I love anything that is super duper high-waisted. I love the fact that you've got the triple button, you've also got the zip there. Um, and it's just a really nice wash, very kind of typical, dark denim wash with the light kind of fading. Um, fit wise, it is the real denim classic of the 
what do you even call them? I don't know denim lingo. <laughs> Slim fit, skinny jeans maybe. And I went for a size up to what I would normally go with because as you guys know, I can't bear anything tight on my tummy. I didn't want anything uncomfortable and yet they have got a really nice amount of elasticity in them. So they are very comfortable and yet they fit really nicely on the top of my thighs as well because I don't want anything that's gonna be like baggy on the thighs because I thought that could be quite unflattering. I am a little bit obsessed with this jumper. It's got like little sparkly bits in it and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So styling wise, to be honest, a lot of the time I would probably be wearing this as like a comfy outfit. Never thought I would <laughs> be talking about wearing denim as a comfy outfit, but here we go. So just tucking in some shearling boots. These are my Holland Cooper. At the time of filming, I don't know if um, Holland Cooper are doing anything for Black Friday, I'm sure they probably will be. So I will leave my Holland Cooper favorites down below too. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am actually blown away right now. I'm gonna insert a little clip here of the lining of this pair of jeans. You, it is quite unbelievable how comfortable these are. They are a fleece lined pair of jeans. I did not know that such thing existed. I obviously am not the most well-traveled when it comes to trying on denim, but any time I have tried on denim in the past, I've just never found it comfortable. This pair feels like I'm wearing a pair of fleece-lined leggings. They are so soft, so comfortable, and yet they don't look bulky. I was a little bit, like, obviously amazed, but also a bit concerned when I saw that lining that they were going to be bulky. Well, it is safe to say that they are not. The fit of these is just absolutely gorgeous. Once again, they've still got that little bit of room in the tummy slash waist area, so I don't feel like it's hurting my tummy. You've got these little mini pockets, classic kind of um, dark denim styling on the bottom. You've got the pockets on the bum area as well. This is another of their classic denim fits. It's called the Blue Attack, but I will leave everything linked in the order that I'm wearing them down below, so it's super easy for you guys to follow. Um, ultra high-waisted, triple bottom, triple kind of belt area, and just super flattering. I think these have been specifically designed to be very enhancing of a feminine silhouette. Let's try them on with some boots. I seriously cannot get over how comfortable these are. I never thought I would I never thought I would use the word comfortable and denim in the same sentence. So it is safe to say Miss 60, you have blown me away and how cute is this little top with the fluffy collar, fluffy sleeves, and then the little sparkly detail. Okay, you guys, this is a slightly more jazzy pair as seen on Belle Hadid in the campaign imagery. Um, this is called the Alice pair. They are, again, they've got this really clever thermal technology, which is gonna keep you nice and toasty warm, which I'm all about. Do you know what? Just looking in the mirror, I hope it comes across on camera, these are super flattering, super flattering. I think they actually make, like I don't normally find denim in my experience to be that flattering because I don't have the narrowest hips in the world. But there's something about these, something about the detail up here that is making these ultra, ultra flattering. And they've got the fade detail that again, nice and high-waisted. I, I don't think I could wear denim that wasn't high-waisted and all of these styles are super high-waisted. Majorly soft as well and yet still quite a good thickness. Um, so I feel like if you are wearing these as more of like a practical, practical jean, I think they're gonna be nice and durable as well. I can't believe how much this is taking me by surprise. I did not think that I would be enjoying trying on denim as much as I am. What do you guys think? Do you think I should actually start wearing jeans? <laughs> Is this a new me? Is this, have we discovered something? Um, it's even flattering on the bum. Still quite a skinny leg style, so very versatile with what kind of footwear you can wear with them. Let's try on this amazing coat, which is also from Miss 60. Oh my gosh. Am I a cool girl? Am I like becoming cool or something? In my... In my 30s <laughs> am I becoming cool who knows probably not if I have to ask the question then probably not but I feel like this is like the jacket style that all the cool girls are wearing at the moment it's quite easy I love this <laughs> I really really love this this is this is not the kind of outfit that I would normally put together you guys know that but this I'm really loving I can see myself wearing this exploring in Nashville um, yeah wow okay <gasps> I love this look. I love this look. Talk to me about footwear. What footwear do you guys wear with your jeans? 
because I think that might be where I struggle. Oh my gosh. I love this coat. I love that you've got the little flaps there. I love the pockets. I love that if it gets chilly, it just kind of poppers up. I love the gold shade. And I love that it's super lightweight as well. So this is gonna be perfect for in my suitcase. I might even have this as my traveling coat. Okay, so unfortunately here for the denim, I have messed up sizing wise. I have gone too big on this pair. I believe, um, by the way, coat, shall we appreciate this coat? It is literally like wearing a dressing gown and I'm absolutely here for it. This is another one that I think was in the Bella Hadid campaign imagery. Absolutely gorgeous, perfect again for our Nashville trip. The denim, um, I think this is the Vicky pair of jeans, but yeah, unfortunately just a little bit too big for me. So I'd say um, maybe it's just, maybe actually it's not that they're too big, it's that they are a looser fit. So perhaps I should have sized down on these. So these are more of a classic kind of styling with the top detail here. And then silhouette wise, they are just a straight leg jean. I feel like again, these could look really cool. They've got a really nice detail on the back here as well. I really like this belt detail that they've got at the back. And then let's try it with my new favorite coat. Very cool, white and gold. That is a somewhat festive kind of look. And these are almost like a kind of cashmere denim, which is just gonna be super warm. Again, great for heat retention in the chillier months. Okay, so again, this is another pair of Vicky trousers. I'm gonna pop another overlay on the screen here that I just shot, which shows you the fact that these are the most gorgeously soft fleece lined trousers. I love that Miss 60 are thinking about the comfort and the warmth of their denim as well as how great they look. So this is another, um, straight leg fit. You've got more of a simple structure going on up here, a really kind of classic styling. And then again, that gold belt detail, classic kind of wash, really classic finish um, color wise and style wise on the jeans. I think it's called a feminine boyfriend cut. I think that is the name of the cut. I would call them kind of more straight leg, but I'm not down with my denim lingo. So darlings, let me know your advice and your um, opinions on the denim is very much required in this instance because I am a total newbie when it comes to the denim, but I think that has been a great experience. Lots to think about, lots of new outfit opportunities now that I have discovered a few different denim styles. So yes, I will leave all of these linked down below. Josie 15 for an extra 15% off um, and up to 40% off on their Black Friday sales. So epic. Great work, Miss 60. morning my darlings <laughs> um we've got a power cut which is why i'm going to be doing my skincare by candlelight this morning wasn't actually intending on vlogging today it is wednesday today so the day before you'll be seeing this um and i was just exporting all of my last videos, you know, getting getting all my ducks in a row. Um, and I realized that I had just not finished vlogging the previous clips. Don't know what happened there. I wasn't gonna vlog today, but here we are. Didn't wanna leave you with just a random denim and <laughs> Adenola try on. So actually it's quite nice to be vlogging today because first of all, despite the fact that we've got no electricity, I can still continue with my skincare routine. Elizabeth Arden, vitamin c capsule i've already done my clay de peau le serum uh yes so today i don't know why i'm whispering it just feels very calm and serene in the house rain is pattering down on the window big time oh my gosh i hope it's just a temporary power cut it's been down for like half an hour because i really need some wi-fi later today to upload my final videos um but yeah oh <gasps> did you hear that Ooh, <laughs> very strange. Um, yes, today I am gonna be heading into Cheltenham. I'm going for a lovely lunch with my friend Millie. There is now an Ivy restaurant in Cheltenham. They are popping up all over the place. And I love them, not gonna lie, I love them. They always deck them out so beautifully. The bathrooms are always <clears throat> gorgeous. 
<clears throat> excuse me and i think they've just launched their festive menu i'm pretty sure it's going to be in the montpellier area which is such a lovely area in cheltenham um so heading there to meet millie i think i mentioned to you ages ago that i'm actually i'm blacklisted from the anthropology <laughs> website which is so weird i can't even remember the details now but now but i have i have spoken about it on here before there was like a mess up with a product that they sent to us that was faulty and when we returned it Oh no, they refund, I don't know. There is an issue with me using the anthropology website and um, so I can't use it, which is very annoying. So I'm gonna go and have a look in the anthropology store, which is um, a really nice one in Cheltenham. And then we're gonna go for lunch and then I'm heading over to the Holland Cooper boutique, which is actually like a five minute drive out of the town center. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be a really lovely day. Don't know what I'll do if the power doesn't come back on because it's not really gonna be getting very bright today because it is such a dark, like it's 7 a.m. already or even later. It's 8 a.m. <laughs> my phone torch on. Yeah, it's 8 a.m. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Maybe I should just take my makeup bag in the car and <laughs> oh, get ready at Dalesford or something. I need to write a blog post as well, um, but our wi is not gonna be working, is it? <sighs> so I have got my mega diptyque candle burning. As you can see from the soot coming up, I do need to trim my wicks. So I'll be doing some candle maintenance later. And then I've got this lovely little one from Dior, which is so beautiful. And then this one here is the Tory Birch one that I purchased in, Ooh, can you see it? I picked this one up in Palm Beach. I just had an idea. My ring light runs off USB, so what if I plug it into a battery pack? Oh my god, that lighting is horrible. I'm going back to darkness. I'd rather be in the dark than be dazzled by a ring light at this time of the morning. I'm gonna figure some stuff out and I'll catch up with you later. Excuse the mess, but very grateful for our battery powered pookie lights on a power cut day. And we are back. We are back with electricity and daylight. How spoiled are we? It really makes you <laughs> appreciate these things. I've got the Dyson air purifier whizzing away in the background, so sorry if you can hear that, but I thought with all the candles that have been lit in this room, it's probably a good idea to try and purify the air. I did do my makeup in the dark, so maybe went a little bit a little bit overboard, but never mind. So I need to leave in about 20 minutes to, um, I need to nip to Dalesford to pick something up, and then on to Cheltenham to do a little bit of shopping before I meet Millie. Um, but I have got a couple of very quick things I want to unbox with you which arrived yesterday afternoon. So first of all, Noble Macmillan, you might remember I ordered a photo album from them in summer for my seed storage and they've sent a little Christmas gift or birthday gift, um, which I'm gonna open here. Oh my gosh, it's personalized. Delicious bites and noteworthy flavors. <gasps> How gorgeous, this really stunning kind of um, lizardy <laughs> leather notebook. Oh, this is so perfect. <gasps> this is so perfect, so I can jot down. Oh my goodness, okay, this is perfect. This is such a good gift idea for anyone who loves to cook. So inside, can you see, you've got recipe for, and then the name, is it a starter, main canapé pudding, is it vegan, how long it takes to cook. <gasps> This is so fantastic because often I will watch reels like Half-Baked Harvest reels or I will watch um, YouTube videos like Leonora's Miso Soup and I will just have scraps of paper all around the house and can I ever find them when I need them? No, and that's where all my recipes are. So this is going to be a really fun Christmas activity is to be to source all of those little scrappy notes all around the house and transfer them into this, what a gorgeous gift idea. Very, very kind gift, thank you, Noble Macmillan. I also unboxed and already tried this morning a lovely delivery from Shantikai. This is their Lotus Perfect Blur Glow Powder. Do you remember I showed you the Lotus's 
on my Christmas wreath and it's really funny because I actually wouldn't have known what a lotus looks like until two weeks ago. A dried lotus seed head, I'll pop a picture on the screen here, you might remember a lotus seed head does feature in my flowered Christmas wreath, which by the way will be available to purchase from next week. I'll be letting you know on my stories and probably here on the vlog when it's available, but that is the design, the lotus seed head that Shrontakai have gone with for this collection. And I just applied this, it is a perfecting, blurring, glowing powder. I like powders that do not mattify, completely mattify my face. I want my glow to shine through and I feel like it does. I feel like my skin is still glowing. So really lovely new collection launch from Shantakai. I also unboxed <laughs> this, which is a lovely herringbone scarf from Nice Cream London. Really, really beautiful. I've cinched it in with my belts and then I've got my Holland Cooper jumper dress on as my outfit of the day. Day three without washing my hair. So I've just scraped it back, just pulled it back away from my face and secured with a little clip. And something that I am on the lookout for in anthropology is a couple of new hair clips because I've been using these, I don't wanna say ugly, but not pretty plastic ones when pulling my hair back lately. Um, so I would like to try and find some prettier ones. And then I do also have this month's beauty pie order to unbox. So let's make a bit more space here. I'll try and do this quickly. Oh, um, and before I forget, tomorrow, Shantikai launching at their Black Friday sale, and it'll be, I think it's Josie25, is the discount code that you need for 25% off. <laughs> Something taped to the inside saying, smell me. Oh, La Poissy de Chiffre. Top notes of fresh mint, marshmallow, and lemon. Middle notes of cocoa flower, freesia petals, and clary sage. And base notes of vanilla bean, sandalwood, sugared cedar, and patchouli. That is lovely. <laughs> Elf care. <laughs> I love it. Aha. Okay, so I actually ordered these as a gift. It is a set of super soft white black piped pajamas from Beauty Pie. They are a gift, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna unwrap those at the moment. Oh my goodness me. And as a reminder, Josie sent me is the code that you need for £10 off your annual membership, which would be such a nice gift idea. If you know a beauty lover, then a Beauty Pie membership would be such a lovely gift for them. If you are a Beauty Pie customer and your friends are like, why do you keep telling us about these products that we can't buy without a membership? Get your friends a Beauty Pie membership for Christmas. I just love unboxing Beauty Pie orders. Ooh, I could have done with these this morning. <laughs> so, a couple more candles. This one sounded quite festive. Fir, balsam, sandalwood, and sweet orange. Again, fantastic gift ideas. That is very festive. That's like, that smells like a Christmas tree. That is gorgeous. Charlie's gonna love that. We'll have that in our drawing room downstairs. And then pomegranate and bay rose. I think this one is a diptyque dupe. To be honest, that first one smells like diptyque as well. Oh, <gasps> guys, this smells exactly like diptyque. Wow. I wonder if it will really make the room smell as good as that. That would be amazing if it does. Oh my gosh. These are so festive. I would highly recommend this as your Christmas candle. That is so lovely. Fir, balsam, sandalwood, and sweet orange. I'll leave my Beauty Pie Bits link down below. Okay, a couple of new things for me to try. Super Drops for high intensity hydration. We are flying to Nashville this weekend, oh my God. So um, I thought this could be really good for a post-flight skin recovery, super hydration. And then I saw this deluxe eyeshadow quad. I felt that I'd been quite boring with my eyeshadow lately and I wanted to step it up a bit. Could also be, an, again, a lovely gift idea. That looks very similar to a certain Charlotte Tilbury palette. That's gorgeous. Literally the shades I love to wear at this time of year. I'm gonna take that with me to Nashville. Oh, how perfect. A couple of the fragrances. I forgot I'd added these. So the little tester that I just sniffed in my box is this one here. And if I remember correctly, they are the most beautiful packaging. Oh, so chic, so chic. What gorgeous gift ideas. Ooh, oh my gosh. Oh, that 
is heavenly. Mm. Well, I just read out the notes in this a second ago, didn't I? Marshmallow, who'd have thought that that would be a fun flavor? Flavor? I don't know. I'm gonna take that with me to Nashville as well because that's a great bottle size. And then this one is Figu de Dalmati, made in France. Have you guys read Jo Malone's book, as in actual Jo Malone? Because she was saying about how she was talking about the fragrance, like houses in France. Ooh, that is fresh. Ooh, oh, I think I prefer that one. Figu de Dalmati. I don't know the notes in it, <laughs> but it's very, it's quite a little bit floral, I would say, actually. Um, oh, here we go. Bergamot, blood orange, mandarin, gardenia, love gardenia, figwood and vanilla, that's why I love it. I think figwood and vanilla. If you want to smell like a cosy, lovely person, figwood and vanilla. Ooh. Oh gosh, I'm getting deja vu. It's got a little bit of Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess. If Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess was a bit more festive and warm, wow, that could be my new favorite perfume. That's going in my handbag. Oh my God, I love it. Oh, and that one is Figure de Delmati. Love, love. <gasps> Guys, I can't believe how gorgeous that fragrance is. A festive Bronze Goddess, iconic. Can't believe it. <laughs> I'm sorry, that is so lovely. This is another gift that I have chosen for a certain someone that's coming to stay at our house. So I won't fully unbox it, but I'll just show you a little sneak peek. It is a silk pillowcase. You guys know how Beauty Pie works. They cut out the middleman, so you're not paying ludicrous prices for things. And certain things do tend to have a high markup. This is a 100% Mul Mulberry silk pillowcase. Fabulous gift idea, it really is. And then I chose the matching, although I'm quite tempted to keep this for myself, um, eye mask in this beautiful, yeah, I think I might have to keep this myself for the flight as well. It's, um, again, mulberry silk with this deep, beautiful burgundy color. How stunning. Absolutely stunning. If you guys have already got a Beauty Pie membership, you are able to treat your friends to the most luxurious gifts without having to fork out a ton because with Beauty Pie, you're always getting the best prices. I saw this on the website and realized I hadn't tried it yet and I need to. Japan Fusion 10 Minute Miracle Sheet Mask. Again, coming with me to Nashville for post-flight hydration. Ah, so the fragrance, the first fragrance I fell in love with just now. They have got a velvety body moisture creme. How gorgeous if you are able to gift someone not only the fragrance, but also the body lotion heavenly this is gonna make you smell so good that's a gorgeous gift absolutely gorgeous such a beautiful product as well i feel like wonderful to treat yourself to but to treat your friends to something that looks and feels and smells so good as well i have a feeling this is a brush set luxury makeup brush collection 10 piece set 100 percent cruelty free i am obsessed with i think i mentioned it recently this is the beauty pie pro blend brush and i don't think i can live without it i love applying my powder with it but then also i've got one in my handbag because sometimes in the middle of the day i just feel like i need to blur out my skin again um so that's just heavenly and i think there'll be one in here oh i don't know if there is actually every other brush <laughs> so i'd highly recommend you get that one separately black velvet case again oh my gosh beauty pie have got christmas gifting sorted whoa these are beautiful I was not expecting these to be gold. Oh my gosh, I thought they were gonna be like the normal beauty pie style, which is still lovely, but how special for a gift. So you've got so many different brushes here. Oh, it's about time I treated myself to some new brushes. These are meant to be gifts, but I do need some new brushes in my collection. So gorgeous, and in this beautiful case as well. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just treat myself to some new single brushes from Beauty Pie. Um, and I will keep this as a gift. I will be good. I will keep it as intended. I was not intending, however, on sitting here and talking to you for 16 minutes, but I do happen to know that there were 16 minutes left on, um, <laughs> on my washing machine. So I'm gonna go and empty the washing, finish off this blog post that I need to finish writing, um, and then hit the road for Cheltenham. Cheltenham.
English place names are so confusing. It like you would read it as Cheltenham near Gloucester, wouldn't you? As opposed to Cheltenham near Gloucester. I smell so amazing. <laughs> Love it. Love it, couldn't wear it. I can't believe what a beautiful day it has become after the most miserable morning. This is my favourite kind of day when it's chilly, the sun is low, all the plants look like they are glowing. You going to come outside, bunny? You going to come? Oh, mummy's got lipstick on your forehead, I'm so sorry. Mummy, you really mustn't kiss me so much, it's quite inconvenient. Come on, bunny. The way that these grasses just catch the sunshine. Oh, we love an unexpectedly beautiful day. Madness that we might be going into December with Cosmos still going. And we've put the wreath from my Aromatherapy Associates workshop up on the greenhouse, which looks rather adorable. And Martin is going to be coming today, I believe, um, to actually put the brackets underneath the shelving, which is very exciting. I've just been messaging some friends and I think I'm gonna host um, a kind of friends wreath making workshop in here in, um, in a couple of weeks time when they come to stay with us in December, which would be great fun. I definitely want this space to be very kind of homely as well as practical so I feel like the shelves have really added to that. Got this base of a wreath that I might add some bits to for our front door. I need to restring um, my tools with the leather that I got from Amazon, the kind of leather rope. Charlie's bought in a couple of my gardening books and then these are the antique style brackets that are going to be used that we will use to support the shelf. It's quite strong as it is in the wall, um, but I think that'll just add an extra layer of security. Now, where did my alliums end up? By the way, these are the lotus flowers that I was just saying about in the Shantakai um, packaging. And this is my gorgeous wreath. I'm so excited for you guys to be able to get this. I think we are about a week away um, based on availability of all the bits and bobs inside the wreath. It is quite huge, so do make sure to measure your door before, before you purchase. And my Josie £10 code will work with this as well. You'll be pleased to know. I know I say this all the time, but my goodness, I just love driving when it is so beautiful. On days like today, I just want to be doing everything. I want to be in my garden. <laughs> Sorry, I'll pop you there while we're still on the driveway. I want to be in the garden. The kitchen garden was looking gorgeous and I was looking at my rainbow chart being like, I want to pick you and I want to make recipes. I want to be in my greenhouse, um, I want to be out shopping, I just wish more days were this beautiful, but anyway, I'm going to stick a podcast on and I'll see you when we get to Cheltenham. springs to mind oh my gosh it suddenly became so dark my sat nav thought it was night and it went into night mode then all the rain and all the hail and i don't even want to get out to get my umbrella out of the car because it's in the boot how silly um i don't even know if i'm allowed to park here but i'm just gonna sit here and do a few emails our booking isn't until another 15 minutes time until hopefully this sorts itself out I'm so hungry. Hey, 
my darlings, after a very lovely lunch at the Ivy, which turns out is not new. I thought it was new, um, new to me, but it was their new Christmas menu that we had been invited to go and try out. It was so lovely. I can highly recommend the Christmas cocktails. The It was a walnut and blue cheese souffle that I had to start with, delicious, and then I had a turkey and goose shepherd's pie. I'm very, very full and satisfied. Would love a little nap right now but more exciting than a nap I've come now to the Holland Cooper boutique it's just two minutes well, four minutes out of town in this gorgeous little area there's a Dunkerton cider there's a lovely artisan bakery here and I'm here to catch up with the team and do a little bit of shopping I feel like I look like I've been dragged through a hedge backwards because of this crazy weather um, but Never mind. Let's go and catch up with the girls. I'm going to take my hairbrush in and sort myself out when we're in there. And let's go and see what newness that they have got in stock. Okay, straight into the Holland Cooper boutique and instantly, oh my gosh, my mind is buzzing with so many gifting ideas. You guys have probably spotted this candle in the house. It has just got the most heavenly fragrance. And look, you can see here, by the way, their styling, their VM in here is just so beautiful. All the antique furniture I just am obsessed with. Um, but yeah, this is how the candle comes presented so such a lovely gift idea and then the leather bits they've got some new card holders which are stunning look how gorgeous this looks this is like an antique jewelry case so beautiful these are um, the lovely leather gloves such a nice thing for gifting and then they've so kindly bought me a cup of green tea perfect for enjoying while we peruse okay let's have a little wander around the store Ooh, someone's got a glass of champagne over here. I like how this person shops. So I found out today that you can actually ask the team here to personalize the trench coats. So it is a 20% um, charge on top, but say you loved this style, but you wanted to have a little leather shoulder detail, then you could switch that in. I love how this one has got the heritage check on there. So beautiful. What else have we got? The gorgeous capes, the silky loungewear and nightwear. Again, really gorgeous gift ideas. The quality of these is just absolutely stunning. Little shorts or full length trousers. And then through here, my favorite section. Oh my goodness, I feel like it's just this time of year but I keep thinking about what wonderful gifts everything would be. The wellies, my absolute favorites with the gorgeous faux fur lining literally the most comfortable wellington boots in the entire world i've not seen this before this is the chunky knit in kind of looks black on camera but it is this beautiful olive green the slippers hopefully you guys spotted my reel that we did for holland cooper all the gift ideas and i love these new bags they are so practical such good bags for traveling and if you know anybody that is having a baby or has got a little one they've now got these um, baby changing bags and cute little wellies for small people Sorry. okay what else have we got oh my goodness spotted this gorgeous new coat it's almost like a, a pearlescent green I don't know if you can see that well on camera but that looks so warm and comfortable oh my goodness and then all of the basket weave knits I have got this gorgeous color at home already it's like a toffee color I think I'm gonna try this beautiful blush pink <gasps> stunning I've already packed my one of these for Nashville love how you even think of that. Such a good it's idea. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> I always pick up so many styling tips. We've just tied this silk scarf in, oh, it's actually two silk scarves in a knot, which you wouldn't be able to tell, hidden away behind the collar. And it just gives such another beautiful element to the coat. I don't think you can ever have too many scarves. That looks great. Another little bit of black creeping in. So lovely. I have got a little sneak peek here of one of the new styles of skirt. I can already tell that Freddie's going to want this one too. It's the most beautiful colour combination. This kind of very light tan and cream houndstooth with the gold buttons. Then we've got this um, champagne-y bodysuit underneath. 
perfect for an evening look. Another sneak peek. Really this is cool. a horrible lighting. It is now pitch black outside after a lovely couple of hours in the Holland Cooper boutique and of course <laughs> I did not leave empty handed. I always leave the Holland Cooper boutique full of treats. They, they have got so many gorgeous bits in at the moment and I did get a little bit of a sneak peek of some bits which are coming very soon as well, which I can't wait to show you. I think this vlog is getting rather long, so I think I'm actually gonna wrap it up here, but you guys will see me styling these gorgeous pieces in Nashville. And I have realized that this is now the last time that I will be vlogging until Vlogmas. I'm so excited. We actually got a little sneaky peek of our intro today. And let me tell you, let me just say, please watch it. Watch the first Vlogmas on a big screen with really good speakers <laughs> because the sound, the music, it's just all gonna be absolutely stunning. Can't wait for you to see it. Anyway, darlings, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. Very excited for the next vlogs that you will see. Um, and yes, that's all for me, darlings. I'll see you soon. Bye.